All right, so um, based on the, uh, the request of one person, well, just a question one person made uh, in real life, uh, I'm going to do a series, well, not a series, just one little video. It's going to be a short video. Well, that's a lie. It's going to basically address this. What does... What separates my three essays, Anti-Statism Circa 2011, 2012, and 2013 from the full-length books that a lot of anti-statists are doing right now? And the reason I'm doing this is because there needs to be some incentive to read my shit when a lot more notable people are doing shit of their own. So... And they take a lot more time, whereas writing these would only take a month or two for me of painstaking research, as opposed to four years of just one, or even six months. Now, here's what other anti-statism books do. They mention that the world has tons of inconveniences. This is a common tactic in um, propagating books or anything that you say. Just start off by pointing out the obvious. Because people are good at recognizing the obvious. Yeah, I'm sniffly today. Then you pinpoint these inconveniences to the state. Since this is an anti-statism book. And then you spend a few chapters making arguments about how said institution can function without a state. So, roads, healthcare, welfare, um, just that kind of shit. And military and things of that nature. Law. And then you tell these people how... These inconveniences will be lost in a stateless format. And that's all good when you put it all together. But there's some problems with this. Or better yet, there's some stuff that's incomplete. First off is that it usually introduces way too much terminology than it can handle. Okay, back. For example, um, what's the difference between authority and power? What's the difference between liberty and freedom? What's the difference between, uh, let's see, what's one common difference I'd like to point out? Government and state is common one that people point out a lot. And anarchism and then glocracy or oligarchy, which is what it, you can constantly get mixed up with because people are confused it like that. And then there's no solutions towards ending the state. No one like really says, all right, you got to do this, this and that. And I, tr I do this vaguely. And there's nothing more than inconveniences. People might be reassured by knowing that in a stateless society, certain inconveniences will be lost. But they also want to know how really full-length problems can be lost. They want to know how things with no solution can be dealt with. Like... For example, socialism, you got the calculation issue. There's no, um, there's got to be something like that to point out against the state, just like the Austrians did with the socialists. And so what do my essays do? They fix the unsound terminology. They make arguments about what's impossible in statist societies 
and provide solutions towards ending the state. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much done here. So this is Leon Red. And fuck you guys. Fuck you guys very much for watching this video.